morning Antioch church and base let's um, pray before we start our devotions father thank you for your word thank you for your faithfulness and help us to remember all the things that you've done in the past that would give us encouragement for the present and the future uh, speak to us today we pray all these things in jesus name amen today is tuesday september 17th and the passage is nehemiah chapter 9 verses 9 to 18 which I'll read for us. You saw the suffering of our ancestors in Egypt. You heard their cry at the Red Sea. You sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his officials and all the people of his land. For you knew how arrogantly the Egyptians treated them. You made a name for yourself, which remains to this day. You divided the sea before them so that they passed through it on dry ground, but you hurled their pursuers into the depths like a stone into mighty waters. By day you led them with a pillar of cloud, and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the way they were to take. You came down on Mount Sinai. You spoke to them from heaven. You gave them regulations and laws that are just and right, and decrees and commands that are good. You made known to them your holy Sabbath, and gave them commands, decrees, and laws through your servant Moses. In their hunger you gave them bread from heaven, and in their thirst you brought them water from the rock. You told them to go in and take possession of the land you had sworn with uplifted hand to give them. But they, our ancestors, became arrogant and stiff-necked, and they did not obey your commands. They refused to listen and failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. Excuse me. They became stiff-necked and in their rebellion appointed a leader in order to return to their slavery. But you are a forgiven God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore you did not desert them, even when they cast for themselves an image of a calf and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt, or when they committed awful blasphemies. So in today's passage, it continues uh the the story or the recollection of when the israelites gathered <clears throat> on this 24th day of the month where they were fasting and wearing sack sackcloth and they had separated themselves from foreigners and they were reading from the book of the law and the levites were telling the people uh, to worship god and they continue on in this worship and they, in this passage, basically recount all the things that God has done um, when they were in slavery in Egypt and the things that God did for them when he delivered them from Egypt and the things that he did for them in the, in the wilderness when he gave them manna and gave them water. And it's just a recollection, I think, of what God has done. Um, and I think it's... I guess always an important thing for us to remember how we should have a recollection of the faithfulness that God has shown us. And it's important for us, I think, to remember these things in our own lives and to record it so that we can look back on it. And when you look back on it, it just leads you to worship God. Uh, we do note at the end of the passage where um, they did not listen. Um, and they, you know, fell into idolatry. And I think it's important for us to always kind of remember that they, we are like them too as well, to remember our tendency, our inclination to fall into idolatry, um, rather than look down on the people of Israel, but to identify with them and realize, hey, that's that's us as well. Um, so I think the big thing for this passage, the main point I take from it is to record God's faithfulness and to remember it. And um, it's really important for us to do that and so that we can take encouragement and faith from that to write it down. Uh, the things that God, if God has been faithful, write it down so that you have a record of it and you can look back on it and it can lead us to worship God. Let's end with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness, um, <clears throat> your constant faithfulness. 
Uh, you're always faithful. You always provide for us. There are always stories of what you have done for us. Lord, help us to be disciplined in recording that so that we take the time to look back in our own lives, in our own personal lives, in the own specific personal instances where you have been faithful, that it would lead us to worship you. Uh, help us to be faithful in doing that, Lord. Watch over us today. We create all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everyone.